This video is for setting up your Covert Blackhawk or Code Black trail camera. This camera can function short term on four AA batteries. Improve battery life on eight AA's, but we suggest using 12 AA batteries to get the most out of your camera's battery life. Do not use external power source with non-rechargeable AA batteries installed on the camera. To install the batteries, press this button, pull this out, and install your batteries right into there. Once you have all 12 batteries in there, simply push it back up into the camera. To activate your Blackhawk camera on the Verizon network or your Code Black on the AT&T network, visit the Covert website for instructions. Once your camera is activated on your Verizon plan or AT&T plan, you will need to install an SD card in the side of the camera. You can use any SD card size up to 32 gigabytes. Please note, you must have the SD card in the camera to be able to turn on the camera and set it up. To set up the camera, turn this switch up to setup. When you first turn the camera on, you will see the word searching signal on the screen. The camera will then say connecting to server as it is connecting to our web portal. Once you see signal bars in the top right corner, you are ready to move on. To send a test photo, press the right arrow to take a picture then press the OK button, then press the menu button, then hit down arrow to send, and press OK. The LCD screen will display the send progress. Once you see sent successfully, you have successfully sent your first photo and your camera is ready to take photos. Once your photo is sent successfully, hit the menu to exit out of it. To customize the camera settings, hit the menu button and these menus is where you can adjust all of your camera settings. On the far left, you'll see send mode. Hit the down arrow, hit OK. And this is where you can select between off or instant send. Once hitting OK for instant, you can select a maximum number of photos that is sent each and every day. Leave it blank if you want unlimited. To adjust the remote control, hit OK to enter then hit down to adjust between real time, a delay of a half hour, all the way up to a delay of 24 hours. Once you're satisfied, hit OK to save. To perform a firmware update, hit OK to select, and hit enter to start your firmware update. This will download the latest firmware version in case there's been an update. Make sure you hit the up arrow all the way to the top and go to the right to go to the next submenu. Hitting the down arrow to camera mode and selecting OK gives you the option between photo and video mode. You can hit OK for photo mode or OK for video mode. In this case, we'll select photos. And then we hit menu to exit. To customize your camera settings, hit the down arrow and select OK. From here, we have three megapixels selected. To change this, use the right arrow and you can go all the way up to 20 megapixels hit OK to save to adjust flash range use your left and right arrows to go between low and high hit OK to save to adjust photo burst same thing use your left and right arrows to adjust your photo burst photo burst means your camera can take one through ten shot burst every time the PR is triggered to take a photo However, the camera will only send the first photo. To adjust the shutter speed, use your left and right arrows between normal and fast. Selecting a fast shutter speed will reduce the amount of blur on a moving object in your photo. Hit OK to save. Once you're satisfied with your custom settings for photo, hit menu to exit. To change your camera to video mode, select camera mode Scroll down to hit video, hit OK to save. Hit menu to go out. From here, you can adjust video size. You have the option between WVGA, 720p, and the highest resolution at 1080p. Hit OK to save at 1080p. To adjust video length, hit the down arrow, hit OK. And from here, you can choose between 30 seconds, 25 seconds, all the way down to five seconds. 
select OK to save, hit the menu option to go back. For the sake of this video, I'll put the camera back in photo mode. To go to the next submenu, make sure you arrow all the way up to the top and use the right arrow. This is your PIR submenu. PIR sensitivity means the camera is triggered by heat and motion. To select PIR trigger, hit OK. If you want to use time lapse mode, you would select this, hit OK. To do both, you would go down to both and hit OK. PIR interval. If you're in time lapse mode, that means the camera takes pictures at defined intervals. Three, four, five minutes in steps of one minute, 10 to 55 minutes in steps of five minutes, one to eight hours in one hour intervals, 12, 16, 20, and 24 hours in four hour intervals. To select PIR trigger, hit OK. Menu to go back. To adjust your PIR sensitivity, hit the down arrow to PIR sensitivity, hit OK. From here, you can choose between low, normal, high, or off. We suggest low if temperatures are under 10 degrees. We suggest normal for temperatures of 10 to 80 degrees and high for temperatures above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Hit menu to go back after you've saved. To adjust your PIR interval, hit the down arrow, then hit OK. In this case, the camera will be triggered based on the interval you select. We recommend using a 30 second trigger interval. Hit OK to save. Menu to go back. If you want to control when your camera operates, go down to work time one, hit select, and hit on. From here, you can select the time that your camera will operate. Once you've set your time, hit OK to save. If you want your camera to work all the time, make sure your work times are turned off. You can create up to four work times on this camera. To adjust time-lapse settings, first make sure the camera's in the time-lapse mode. Hit OK to save. Hit menu to exit. And from here, you can hit the down arrow, select time-lapse, and you can adjust your time-lapse settings. Notice that at 24 hours, hitting the up arrow will adjust the time-lapse settings for your camera. This means the camera can take pictures at defined intervals. Three, four, and five minutes in steps of one minute. 10 to 55 minutes in steps of five minutes. One to eight hours in one hour intervals. Or 12, 16, 20, and 24 hours in four hour intervals. Hit OK to save. And then hit menu to exit. Once you've chosen your trigger mode, scroll up to the top and hit right to adjust your system settings. To set the clock, scroll down and hit enter. Please note the clock is set automatically from the wireless network. From here, using the down arrow, you can choose different date display formats. Once you're satisfied, hit OK to save. Please note the clock will be in military time format. For password, select on and enter a four digit code to protect the camera from unauthorized use. Be sure to note the password and store the code in a safe place. It will not be possible to reset the code on your own. Select off if you do not wish to use a password. If you forget your password, please contact Covert Scouting Cameras at support at dlccovert.com or call 877-462-1799 for an RA number. We require warranty registration to verify your camera. This must be completed within 10 days after your purchase. Proof of purchase will be required. You can rename your camera in the nickname box using the Covert web portal or your Covert app on your phone. To use overwrite, select overwrite, hit OK. To turn it on, scroll down and select on to save. Overwrite means you can save new photos over the old photos on your SD card if it becomes full. Each time a new photo is taken, the oldest photo on the card will be overwritten. If the SD card becomes full and this feature is turned off, your camera will no longer take photos. To turn your GPS on, hit GPS, scroll down and hit on. To upload settings to the web portal or your covert app, scroll down to upload settings and hit OK to enter. To format the SD card, hit the down arrow and hit select. 
scroll down and hit yes. This will delete all data off your memory card. Be sure that you won't need the data anymore. Hit the down arrow. By selecting default and hitting enter, you will reset your camera back to all factory settings and all your customized settings will be lost. Software version indicates the software version for manufacturer's use and troubleshooting only. Please note your camera is equipped with an auxiliary power jack. The jack necessary to make the connection is a standard four millimeter jack. Covert offers an auxiliary cable to extend your battery life with an external six or 12 volt battery. To use 12 volts, you must use the covert auxiliary battery cable. We also sell a covert solar panel to directly hook up your camera for optimal battery usage. Your camera can also use a mini USB cable to hook up to your computer or TV to look at your photos. Once you're satisfied with your camera settings, make sure everything is saved, hit menu to go back out, and this is where you can make sure all of your settings are where you want. Up at the top left, you see the photo icon suggesting photo mode. P stands for PIR trigger mode. This will be your signal, the amount of megapixels your photos will be in, and how much space your SD card has. Once you're satisfied, turn the switch to on, close the camera, and your covert trail camera is now ready to use.